Good morning, Mr. and Mrs. Camphorn. This is John from Lakeshore V Center. I'm gonna be walking around today showing you some of the basics on your new travel trailer. One of the first things is you got this wonderful storage up here in this front compartment. Notice it's a big basement pasture storage. These are your power button jacks for your jacks in all four corners. That's your solar panel hookup. We did put a new deep cycle battery on the front of this for you. Got this wonderful power tongue jack up here. These buttons operate that up and down. That turns on the exterior light. Righty tighty shuts off your tanks. Lefty loosey will open up those tanks. Those tanks are full from us as well. So we will be walking around the outside of the camper. These are controls for your front docking lights, your jacks, your power jacks underneath. Your hot water heater is operated from the inside of the camper. Your water pump here for winterization is located right behind here. That's your hookups for that and your winterization hose. This is where you fill your fresh water tank. Your city water connection goes right there. Your sewage dump is located right underneath there. That's an inch and a half and three inch valve. The inch and a half is your gray, the three inch is your waste. When you wanna to go to sanitize your system to begin with it at the beginning of the season, a box of baking soda, a gallon of bleach, and five gallons of hot water running through the system, that'll sanitize everything nicely for you. Hot and cold shower out on the outside here. That's your cable hookups. And that's your black tank flush. That just flushes out the black tanks. Your power cord is located in here with your electrical adapter. So that gives you power to the entire camper. You notice just like we're plugged in back here, you attach that cord to back here. Again, you have rear power jacks as well. Sewer hose storage goes in there. We'll make sure we get you a new sewer hose for that. Spare tire is located right on the back there. Let's walk inside. We'll show you some of the controls and how some of the other things operate. That is the furnace exhaust. Do keep the little ones away from that your refrigerator, that little white tube that's sticking out of the refrigerator, if that happens to drip, there's nothing wrong with that. That just simply means it's condensation. Ground fault plugs are located right there and throughout the unit. These do have breakers on those, so you can reset those. So after a period of time, if for whatever reason the breaker happens to pop, just push to reset those. If you don't have a switch on the wall, you will have switches in the center of the lights to operate the lights. Let's show you how we operate the furnace and air conditioner. That's all operated from this control over here. We slide it to the far right for heat. Next button over is off, fan, or if we wanna run our air conditioner, okay? Auto fan for our furnace or AC above, and then just set your desired temperature, really that simple. Your refrigerator is gas electric, real simple controls here on the inside of the refrigerator to operate that. Simply push the power button on, those little blue lights will pop on. Wonderful little blue black lit fr fridge. This control controls our AC which is our electric side of it, or our LP, which is our gas side of it. And whichever one you select, it's gonna go to the most convenient power source when you're plugged in, and then this simply regulates the temperature for that. And to shut that off so we don't use up any of that, we just do that right there. When you go to operate your stove, real simple operation for your stove. The first thing we're gonna do is fold back our cover right here. We're gonna push in our control, control rotate it to light here, and just use our sparking igniter while it pops right on that simply quick okay keys are located around your kitchen faucet those are your owner's manuals right there your remotes are in this drawer right here when you go to slide out your slide out don't forget make sure that this chair is slid over into the entryway or aisle position there so that it doesn't hit on the slide your tv notice how these two arrows are aligned here for your power boosted tv antenna they have to be aligned when you're cranking it down if you don't it'll hit in a different position on the roof. So use the antenna to crank it up there. There's a power booster, which is located behind here, a little green light that'll pop on if you push that button right there. Your breakers and fuses are located behind this box right down here. Carbon monoxide or LP gas detector is to the left there. That's your cold air intake for your furnace. Beautiful camper, you guys. Put flush on your toilet. Nice queen size bed up front here. A nice fan to circulate air in here. You guys, this is John from Lakeshore V Center. If you do have additional questions, please don't hesitate to give me a call. You can reach me at 231-740-6225. Thank you again. Have a great day and I hope you enjoy your new RV.